Hello friends, this is Absinthe and I am here um, today with your freaking weekend card reading. Um, this reading can be geared specifically towards partnerships, couples, twin flames, people who are together, you know. Um, Yeah, I think that this reading is sort of geared towards that. Alright, um, keep in mind I do not do personal readings at this time. Um, if you do like this video, you can bookmark it by pressing like. It helps to get it out there. And if you want to hear more from me, uh, you can press the subscribe button and the bell notification so that way you do not miss any of uh, readings. Um, I know it seems like I take a week off here and there, um, it's really, I'm not really taking off, it's just, I keep on and off getting sick, and, um, just my ailments that I have, um, they flare up every once in a while, so, um, I doubt those times it's really not convenient for me to make videos, okay, and, um, yeah, that's basically it. So, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna see the card pop up on your screen. Alright, um, I am using a new deck, by the way. Um, the Lover's Path Tarot. Um, so the names on the cards will be different. Um, that's why I wanted to do kind of a partnership reading. Um, because that is the theme of the card deck. Alright, so, the card that we have here. Um, it's called Fertility, aka Empress. Um, the general meaning on the card um, is ruling over your life, like one's life. Um, this could be significant of a new marriage or a special relationship. Something that's faded, something that's meant to be. Um, something that's destined to happen um, that would actually help you... Um, move ahead you know in life it will definitely be very very significant for you um this card is symbol um symbolizes um practical action um, and manifests as a physical product so something will come forth of this it can be um business wise and whatnot or um children artistic endeavors or even money wealth coming in um you're pregnant either with a force or with the literal sense of the word pregnant you know uh with a child but also with a psychological force you know um that is very very potent you know um and now i'm gonna do card symbols so i see a lot of cats uh, what are cats? Cats are symbols like luxury, like being laid back, um, abundance, you know, lounging around, just enjoying the life. Um, the lower octave of cats, right? So cats are the lower octave of lions, right? You know, because they are within the same family. Um, we also see um, a female version of that line. I also thought about adolescence, you know, so adolescent lions. So I thought about the different stages of life, you know, culminating into this one point. So you start off as a child, you gather experience, then you become a teenager, you carry forth that experience, right? Those teachings that you had when you were a child, all of that force uh, accumulating, culminating into a pregnancy you know, of um, different energies and stuff, you know, and then it all culminates into that adolescence where you're doing it, you're carrying it out, the force is coming out of you, you know, and then you grow forth into an adult, a mature adult, you know, and then you start the cycle over again, you pass on the energy to someone else. So it's the circle of life. Um, yeah, with that... Um, female lion you don't always see that um 
you know, everywhere, like not even in tarot card decks, like that I've seen, I haven't seen something like that. Um, and this also could signify um, unification of feminine masculine forces and energies. Um, there's also a very visible contrast between the characters and the card. Um, we see that this card is being led by um, unification of Cleopatra and Caesar. Um, and I see like, you know, they were from two, if you know the history, they were from two different cultures, you know, but they were, you know, leaders of their own kind, you know, and they were doing something different, you know, um, being together, I guess. It wasn't really orthodox. Um, yeah, backing them up is the words on the borders of the card. You see Orients and you see Occidents. So... Is the unification of two seemingly different cultures or um, the unification of East and West and also what I got from this was the twain shall meet because you know how they say the twain shall not ever meet some of the old astrology books say that um, particularly like with Uranus and stuff like that and um, yeah with Uranus and Saturn I think but here the twain shall meet you know opposites attract you know so this may be a person that's totally different from you you know in every way you know but it's a beautiful thing because they have what you lack and you have what they lack so um it's, it's a nice blending of forces um these are mirror opposites coming together to blend into completion pregnant with a force a new third energy something new is going to come forth from this it could be physical or spiritual. Um, there are a bunch of lilies in the background um, on the left side. And this is symbolical of um, sexual creativity, a kundalini awakening, and the blending of opposite opposing energies to create a new energy. Maybe like a tantric energy or spiritual realization. This could be this union can cause you to come, you and the other person to come to a spiritual realization, you know, as to what is your purpose for even being born into this lifetime. Um, and particularly, there are four pillars in the back. Um, I think these are four dharmic paths, you know. Um, you know how certain spiritual pra practices have different paths. I think, um, these are paths that lead to oneness. You know, and lead to that ultimate point, that point um, of the one, the one force, the one source. Uh, you know, the Godhead. In other words, um, when you draw in the pillars, if you draw a line through them, you know, like on the top and on the bottom, they form a square or a rectangle with four corners. You know, and very stability, you know, practical, um, and they are corresponding to the post holding each of the pillars. If you look right on the top and the bottom, particularly the top, where the borders are, um, you see the little boxes there inside each of the pillars, the square within the circle, so the cylinder, and you have, but you have if you look at it from the top level, you see a circle, and then you see a square in the circle. So it's a, um, so you see disparate energies, different um, duality. With energies um they can coexist um and in reality does duality truly exist um we have to ask ourselves um it does and it doesn't it does arbitrarily we have to hold space for it because we live here on the third dimension um we have to contend with with it in the mundane in our everyday life um but the higher levels at the more abstract plane those higher echelons um that concept does not exist or it's a dinner 
because it is not perceived and dealt with because it is not necessary uh, not, it's not necessary to use them to um, contend with it on a daily you know so it gets thinner as you go up you know and um, you kind of lose that concept it gets uh, shaved away as you go higher and you detach from your physical form um, the need to come across it and have to deal with it becomes less you know, so it doesn't exist because it's not in the mind's eye. What only exists is what's in front of you at the moment. Um, it becomes unnecessary as you evolve. Um, so, it's the, the veil within and without <laughs> the illusion or the veil of which we perceive consciousness. So. It means like you're on the other side of it, but it's still a veil there. You know, so there's a veil separating, you know, the third dimension, you know, or the physicality from the spirit. When you cross over, you kind of don't see. The physical can't see the spiritual too much, and the spiritual cannot see the physical. You have to extend yourself within many lifetimes. In order to thin that veil even more, it's kind of like you're throwing ice and you're blowing on it with a breath, like <gasps> you like, like melting it as you progress, right? And then you start to see it, you know. But uh, once you reach that other side and you're liberated, you know, um, the likelihood of you being able to kind of conceptualize that duality or anything physical becomes less apparent so you're getting used to the higher planes you know anyway love is really the path to the one or to the one source so that's what I got for this reading um, I hope it was helpful and um, I am approaching it from a spiritual standpoint um, I feel like that's not done enough on these many uh, tarot card channels and it's a bit annoying <laughs> to say the least you know so I really don't want to become like that I know it's popular you know but um, I'm not here for that um, I'm here to help myself grow I am a student you know as you know I go along traditional meanings but I also kind of like I look at the symbols and stuff like that and I try to derive spiritual inferences from those symbols and I think that um, it serves me better to do it that way and I think it also serves the community better you know because you're coming across something different from a different perspective um, you're just consuming a bunch of oh lovey dovey shit every day you know and oh this person's gonna come back to me and all of this um, you have power your own destiny um, I say you look at a birth chart or something you should go against it you should break it you should go against the rules totally if someone tells you this is gonna happen that's gonna happen you should go against it totally you know I'm a rebel like that like um because um we have to retain our willpower you know we have to be fully conscious and we cannot let things and you know what I'm saying we cannot let things control us um so I approach it from that standpoint and um, I hope it brings a new flavor to the table, you know, and I hope it's appreciated because um, I feel better consciously, like I feel better about myself doing it like this. Um, I feel like I'm doing a good service um, and this will probably will help me. Maybe the gods will look at me and be like, okay, you know, you're doing a good thing. Maybe you're more healthy now. Maybe you have more energy, you know, now I'll be able to give more videos and be a good channel. Of service to people because that's ultimately what I want to do you know so I can evolve um, because I feel like this is my last birth on this planet I would um, probably go into the future like in the future I'll probably try to explain it further why I think that but I think this is my last birth you know so I feel like I don't have a lot of time left I have to do everything that I can you know to do good 
you know, and to bring, be of service, you know, um, so that I feel satisfied enough to not have to come back, okay, so just letting you know that right now, um, alright, so anyway, I'll see you next time, hopefully soon, alright, um, thank you very much for listening, okay, bye.